Hey everybody, Colin Shadwell here for my first video of the 2014 uh, pottery making season. And to start it off, I'm going to start making some salt pigs. Now, I'd, I've made a salt pig before in my pottery career, but um, you know, I saw one when I was visiting my dad in Atlanta that he had on his countertop. I'm like, oh, that looked pretty easy to make. So I, I thought I'd make a, a different kind of varieties here. So the first one I'm making is really kind of simple. It's just kind of a, a really curved over bowl um, that's really got a, a really enclosed opening here. So what I'm basically just going to do is try to round this over and make it as kind of apple shaped or round shaped as I possibly can. You got a little divot on there. Then once it dried a little bit, I was going to turn it over and flip it. Now, I don't want this to dry all the way. I'm kind of carving this a little bit earlier than I would have because I still want it to be kind of flexible so I can kind of change its shape later on. So right now it's still kind of wet. You can see I'm just kind of peeling away the ribbons, just enough to kind of round it over on the back. Um, I don't want to have a foot on this at all. I just want it to be nice and round because the bottom is really not going to be the bottom. You'll see here that I'm going to take another thing. I've, I've made a whole bunch of these. I'm just going to slightly tap it on the side so it kind of sits on its side. And that makes for a really cool little one, uh, salt pig. So I made a couple of these. You can see I'm just going through and tapping them on the sides of the step. I'm just kind of watching the angle and making sure that it would hold enough salt while not holding. You know, it's just basically for like a pinch of salt kind of thing. And then I bought these uh, stamps at Michael's and I'm putting uh, salt in parentheses. I don't know why I'm doing parentheses. Just basically because it had parentheses. So you can see here, that's what it looks like. Salt in parentheses. I don't know. It's kind of weird. Really easy to make. Pretty simple. Uh, the second kind I'm going to make here is it's going to be enclosed at the top. So I'm still going to start out with about a pound, pound and a half of clay here. Um, I'm going to open this up a bit wider, smooth out the bottom. And when I bring this up, I'm going to try to uh, enclose it back in, which is kind of hard to do on smaller stuff like this. So I'm trying to keep it, again, thin at the top. And when I do my top half pull, it's just kind of pulling towards the middle and then slowly kind of building this up, getting some clay at the top and squeezing it in. Uh, this one worked out pretty well. And then just put a little nubbin on the top using the side of my uh, frank tool, as I call it, to smooth out the side and then just make a little nubbin on top so it's completely enclosed. Um, and we're going to open it up here in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and do all my smoothing now. None of these get trimmed, by the way. You can see I made a couple of different shapes and sides. But I'm just using my wire tool here to just cut out a little slip, uh, slot for uh, salt to go inside, and then just rounding off the edges. Pretty simple. Rounding off the bottom too, smoothing that out. Uh, not too difficult to make. And again, I'm using my salt stamps here to put a little salt on the bottom that you can't really see, but we'll show it the final one. And the last one, this is the kind that I saw at my dad's house. Um, it kind of looks like a, a piece of pipe that's bent over a little bit, which I thought was kind of a cool little way to do it. Um, I saw a couple of these on Pinterest too, and I thought, well, that probably isn't too difficult to make, especially just making a cylinder. So um, if you can make a, a five inch cylinder, and again, I'm trying to leave these somewhat, not thick, but not super thin, because I got to cut these and mess them a little bit using the side of my frank tool to kind of straighten it out putting that little uh, little detail on the top to kind of make it look like it's the top of a pipe I thought was kind of a nice little detail too pretty simple to make this I just mean if you can make a cylinder you can make one of these basically so letting that dry to leather hard and then I'm just going to round over the bottom and then I'm going to take a hacksaw blade here and kind of cut it at I don't know kind of an arbitrary angle just enough not really 45 degrees but maybe half of that so and then really slipping and scoring both pieces and then instead of putting it back the way it was you just turn the whole piece all the way around so it, it goes the other way so it kind of angles slightly out towards you and then really pushing these seams together so they hold really tight you know it's not a lot of clay in between these two so really kind of pushing these together letting the slip take a hold a little bit and then coming back and just smoothing over everything multiple times to make sure you got a nice clean tight fit and then again I'm using my stamps for the the salt in parentheses just in case you were curious so here are the final three. Here's the little one with the salt on top. Pretty easy to do. Just rounding over a bowl that's got a carved foot on the bottom, or no carved foot, I should say. Just round it over and just flatten it uh, on the table. Here's the one that's basically an enclosed one that's got a little notch cut out of it. Just uh, smoothing that out as well. Um, and then I had, of course, my little salt in parentheses on the bottom, which I thought was kind of a nice touch. That'll glaze really well. And then here's the kind of bent over pipe one, which is kind of nice too. It lets you reach in there and grab as much salt as you would need, which is really just a pinch for this. So. Hope you like these uh, salt pigs, and uh, thanks for watching my first video of 2014. More to come.